Michael respect your choices dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. I like to come here every now and then, to bring a little balance, calm your hearts, and help you on this great journey. My brothers, we have said it here and repeated it many times, look at your own path. Yes, you can be part of someone else's path, after all, you are not isolated. You have your families, your friends, your colleagues. Everyone is, let's say, following the same path. So, I think it's worth explaining a little more about it. You form a family, that family creates an egregore. And there are separate parts of this family, you don't all live in the same house. But that family forms an egregore. And when I say family, I say blood ties, those who have the same blood, from the father of the mother who started the whole process. This family has an egregore. As a family, it receives influences and all sorts of energies from its ancestors, good and bad. There is a feeling that is common to everyone, because at this moment genetics is speaking. Very good. Many may ask, but what about those who are part of this family, who join the members and generate new members? They have their families, but this new member that was generated is part of two families. So I can make it a little more complicated if I want. So understand that everything is very mixed, but each family has its own weight, has its own history, and that little being generated a part of each one, will receive the influence of both families. There's no way to escape. Very good. But we have said here and repeated that everyone has a path and where is the family in this story? Each soul is independent. The family bond will exist eternally, as long as it is a bond of love, it will exist forever, it will never be broken. What breaks are different bonds of love. Love cannot be broken, because it is the greatest feeling in the universe. So when there is love, the connection is eternal. But not this love that you know, it is unconditional love. Any other type does not remain. Very good. So each soul is independent, but is also part of a family, or two, because everyone is born from two people, genetically speaking. Very good. How do you separate your own path from your family's path? The path of each soul is defined before incarnation, and all the influences of the two families are brought to that soul, which is why it becomes part of both families. But she has her own walk. She may or may not allow herself to be involved in family traits, it is a decision of the soul. But I say it again, each soul is independent. So at the moment the soul defines its path, it can make choices that have nothing to do with the family's choices. And everything is fine, because she is independent. She doesn't need to follow in her family's footsteps. And that's where the biggest problem is because many don't understand that they need to follow their own path. Many think that because they are family, they need to be trapped forever, not to love connections, to any other type of connection. And this way, you keep your journey close to that of your family. Forget about your own evolution, because as each soul is an independent soul, the family can influence in a positive or negative way, but in both ways, it can take that soul out of its path. So when we say, look at your own path, you usually understand this as not looking at the path of a stranger, as not looking at the path of someone who is suffering on the other side of the world, who you don't know. So this is easy for you, just turn your back and ignore it and have no problem. But what to do with the family? What to do with those who walk side by side with you every day? This is where the story gets complicated. Looking at your own path means not letting yourself get involved, not letting yourself be manipulated, not letting yourself do what they want you to do. Looking at your own path means making your own decisions, not the decisions that your family or those around you want you to make. So looking at your own path means making your own decisions, making your own choices. So often these choices, um, there's a problem there, these choices don't have those people who are at your side together with you, you make a choice in which you separate yourself. No matter who, you part ways. Is this wrong? Of course. You are following your path. You just need to be careful not to hurt, not to hurt. 
You need to have the wisdom to show each person that you are following your path, it's not hurting anyone. You are just asserting what you believe in, what you want, what your journey has determined. And you will remain free, even with those at your side. They are right next to you, but at no point can you let them influence your journey. Don't stop doing anything for anyone. This is a sacrifice you make and then regret a lot. No one can stop your journey because of someone. If you want to follow someone, follow together, each on your side, each on your own path, respecting each other's path. Wonder. It will be an extremely beneficial relationship for both, because each one follows what their heart tells them. But always being careful not to hurt the other, not to make the other suffer. Always talking, always putting his own point of view. Not imposing anything, not allowing yourself to be imposed. So my brothers, don't just look at those you don't know, like those you can turn your back on and do nothing about. You need to know how to deal with those you have at your side, because they are family, the family you chose, the family you created. So know how to follow your path as an independent soul. You may ask me, but I can never give in. No, you can't. Because when you give in, you are going against your path. No one needs to give in to anyone. The other person needs to like you, love you, respect you the way you are, without concessions, without giving in. Understand this. You need to maintain your integrity. Nobody can want to change them. Nobody can want to impose anything on you. So this is looking at one's own path. You can even take a look at the other person's path, because they are there, next to you, not like you don't look, but respect the other person's path. Didn't you like it? I'm sorry, you'll have to live with this, because it's his decision, it's the other person's, not yours. But if that bothers you too much, then the time has come for you to think about whether it's worth staying together. That's how it is, my brothers. Simple as flowing water. There's no going back. The decision always has to be up to each person. Can you make decisions together? They can, as long as they both agree, one does not give in to please the other. Everything is wrong there, it started wrong. When you both agree and you're both happy with what you're agreeing to, great, you'll be on parallel paths for a long time. But each one following their own. Each one living that path in their own way, not the other's way. So learn, in any situation, your journey, your choices, must and must always be yours. Don't act on the other's choice and don't allow the other to act on yours. This, my brothers, is what you need to learn at this moment. You have an idea that you always need to have someone's support to do something. Why? It's your choice. You have to bear the consequences. You can even ask for an opinion, talk, but the choice will have to be yours, not the other person's. It will not be the other person who tells you what to do. Learn this and start looking at your own journey. Follow your way, not the way others want you to follow. Only in this way will you effectively disconnect from everyone around you. You continue to love them, intensely, but above all, respecting each one's path. And most importantly, respect yourself on your journey. Think about it a lot, and I guarantee that everything will seem much easier than you imagine. Post-Navigation